This is Business AM. This are your sector trends this morning. All right, let's therefore talk about what we are talking about today. Now, due to the, uh, the rising COVID-19 uh, cases in the country, now Kenya's economy has rapidly gone down. Now, coronavirus is rattling the markets, leaving investors investigating their way around to making businesses work. But how can they do it? What businesses can one invest in amidst the pandemic that has slowed down our economy? Now joining me in the studio is Laban Balolo, an author and a business expert who's going to help us understand this area this morning. Laban, how are you doing, sir? Very well, very well, sir. Happy to have you around, man. Yeah, same here. Same here. All right. I mean, we have been talking before we went on air on exactly yes. mm. how the pandemic has really created a lot of uncertainty in the economy. Now, somebody's going to ask you the question, I mean, where can I go to? Why can I put my energies and money now within this crisis? Uh, basically, uh, we have about um, four sectors of, of the economy, which are the major um, uh, parts of the economy, yes. yeah, which are primary, which is uh, basically um, excavation and production of goods in agriculture, then the secondary, which is um, processing um, of, the, of the produce together with construction. Yes. And then we have uh, tertiary, which is basically um, services, banking, um, insurance and that kind of thing. Then yes. we have uh, now the quaternary which is uh, basically um, government research and th those kind of services. And then these now are split into 11 subsectors. That is where now the opportunity is. Yes. Um, like for example, medical is a very defensive uh, sector. And uh, when you look at, uh, like now, uh, there's a lot of masks which are being used. Uh, there's medication which is going on there as well, uh, uh, sanitizers and all that, there's a lot of demand for that. Yes. Um, and again, uh, COVID-19 is, is, is here to stay, so to, so to speak. And uh, therefore, it is important that uh, people sensitize themselves and there will be opportunities there. Yes. Also, there's a sector like telecom. Telecom is uh, very stable. Um, here is where you're looking at uh, internet service providers, you're looking at uh, telephone companies like Safaricom. If you ask them if their business has gone down, not by any sense, yeah. <laughs> yes. So these are defensive sectors mm -hmm. which, uh, again, people can invest into. Yes. Um, another one which, um, Usually, recessions take place. Within your lifetime, there'll be three to about five recessions. At the moment, we have two which have taken place. Number mm -hmm. one was uh, we had the dot com in the 2000. Yes. And now we have something else uh, that took place uh, between 2007 and 2008, which was the banking crisis. So, which means within your lifetime, There'll be how many more? Maybe two more. Maybe two more or three more. Oh, yeah. Yes. So which means it's usually uh, a time for those who are prepared to go into stock investing. Mm -hmm. uh, and like uh, Warren Buffett pu puts it, yeah, you should be you should be greedy when others are fearful, and be fearful when others are greedy. Yes. What that means is. Uh, a lot of people who don't realize gains in stocks is because they, they buy it when it is up there, it's expensive. And when it starts going down, what happens? They want to release it. Yes. They say, you know, I bought it at this price, it's falling. Uh, but it's, it's just like going to a market. When do you stock? When things are cheap. Yes. So when prices are falling like now, this is the best time to get into stocks. Pretty much get yourself in, isn't it? All right, Laban, I'm going to ask you this as well. I mean, 
Are you advising somebody, therefore, who's probably lost their job, been cut out, or declared redundant as the companies are really trying to, struggling for finances right now, to retain themselves within their area of work in trying to start all over again or change tact, go into those defensive sectors and subsectors that you're talking about this morning? Uh, what happens is that. Uh uh, sometimes when you lose a job and you don't have means of uh, earning at a point at a time like now, yes. uh, this is considered to be some sort of a failure. And it's not really failure. Uh, failure just means a need for change and uh, looking at uh, other things. Because uh, right now, uh, because of the pandemic, you will see that uh, there are other opportunities which have come. Like, for example, e-learning. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, e-learning is going to replace uh, traditional education. Yes. Oh, no, it yes. will not. <laughs> but uh, you've seen a lot of people, you know, uh, taking these courses online. And that is set to continue. There are also other opportunities which will come in. Um, th things like online. Yes. Online support software. Yes and tools and here we are looking at things like um, zoom um, uh, since zoom has grown a lot man. A in lot. december and, yes in december last year they only had 10, 000, 10 million users but uh, as at april they had three um, 300 million users which is a rise increase of 169 percent talk about that and then again, uh, if you've lost your job, this is a time to also create content yes. on YouTube, yes. uh, uh, Disney streaming. Yes. And you can, you know, let your content out, you know, open a YouTube channel and you'll be able to earn from that. Because okay. once mm -hmm. you have about 100 shows uh, on your YouTube channel, you, you start earning. Pretty much. All right, now talk to me about, the, the, about what is possible. Because that's the question that somebody would post to you, Laban, this morning. To start all over again, you have developed your life. You have grown over the past years and now things are really bad. So are you going to, are you able to start all over again? And for this person who's asking you this question, what would be the word for them? Um, you, you know, they, you know, being in the side of uh, the... Uh, continent has not been very easy because you when you look at uh, governments like for example the British government yes uh, they gave uh, support of about 300 billion pounds which was going to help people uh, who've been affected by this uh, COVID pandemic when you look at a country like the US they pledge uh, 2.7 trillion dollars yes towards assisting people um what has happened is uh, within the last um budget there were fundings which were allocated uh which will be rolled out yeah but that the issue is uh, w when will it get rolled out will it uh, help your situation because you see if you for example you're a small trader uh right now you're facing um overheads which is you probably have a restaurant you're paying for rent and other overheads electricity and uh, you're not making any revenues yes. yeah so again this is uh, it is eroding savings yes so which means that uh, you know for you to start over again you may have to go back to the financial institution mm -hmm. see uh, if you'll be able to uh, be advanced um, startup capital. Um, there are also venture capital capitalists that you can sell their, your ideas to them um, and they take a profit out of that. You could also uh, look in terms of, uh, there's what we call love money. Mm -hmm. Love money is money from your relatives and friends. Uh -huh. You just tell them, you know, 
uh, what has happened to you and uh, how you need to start all, all over again. Yes. Yeah. All, all right, Laban, um, they tell me that we have five minutes. Now, if you look at um, starting all over again, that is for an individual now. You had a business which was not essentially in the defensive sectors and sub sectors that you're mentioning this morning. And therefore, you have this business that is not relevant now. Most people are not really looking at it as an essential business to surviving now. You also have to start all over again. As a business expert, what are you going to tell to this person with this infrastructure that has now been declared redundant as a result of the pandemic? Uh, again, uh, it's very unfortunate for some of the things to happen. These are learning lessons yes. uh, so that you go into some of the sectors which are defensive. Uh, you can see the, the other failures which have taken place before and uh, they were not actually considered as a failure. A good example is, um, uh, for example, you will see um, there is a multifaceted spreadsheet yes. that had been rolled out in order to take, uh, to take up uh, Lotus 1, 2, 3. Yes. But this failed miserably. This became the whole bed of learning, and as a result, it uh, gave birth to what we have today as uh, Microsoft Excel. Again, uh, there's another failure which came, and uh, this was a software called Omega. Omega did not do well, and uh, again, they went back to the drawing board, and as a result, this is what we're using today as a MS database. Also, another joint venture with IBM uh, also did not go very well. Yes. And as a result, uh, the, it, it became, it was, it's what gave birth to Windows NT. So th this is a time to learn, yeah? And you can see a lot of things are gonna come as a result of this. You can see like, I will give you a very good example. Uh, in 1665, uh, what happened was uh, Black Plague, there was, a, there was a breakout, yeah, and Cambridge University was closed down. 23-year-old um, Isaac Newton had to go back home for one year, and what came out of it? He invented calculus. Again, you see things like uh, SARS in 2003. SARS came in and uh, as a result of what happened, it, get, it uh, opened uh, e-commerce for Alibaba. Yes. So we are having opportunities which will have an e-commerce because you see in uh, Africa it's not fully developed. Yes. Yeah, and th these are some of the areas that uh, people would want to venture into. Pretty much. Laban, pleasure speaking to you sir, this morning. Guess what? We have just scratched the surface. I know there are a lot of areas that we can talk to. And we shall be revisiting that as well. Now, that is Laban Balolum. He's a business expert and all that. Just look up for him. Any question that you may have on what is written so far and the areas that is into, you don't know what to do. 2146 is right there on your screen at Metropole TVKE across all your social media platforms. He's saying there is a chance in failure and you got to be positive if you're going to come out of this pandemic alive or with something if i will say that has been our show this morning at metropole tvke across your social media platforms again if you may want to get back to us my name is simba elijah charles kia girl meet you later for best for metropole news